B2? B2 it is. There we go. Welcome to the Murder Hobo Show. Streaming. I don't know if I'm streaming. I possibly am, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, I'm also wondering too, I think I might have to shrink this page up because it's like gigantic that I think I'll be able to see what I'm doing. It happens when you work in 4K and you split back to this deal. More, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. That. Yeah, all right, so maybe that maximizes the screen deal. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's go over to the old uh, Twitch deal and see if we can't get some reverberation going on in this bad boy. All right, so my stupid ass thing says that I am streaming. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, to nobody the can Pax hear this ridiculous. We are call doing it. so. Channel. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, to nobody the can Pax hear this ridiculous. We are call doing it. so. Let's mute this. Cool. All right. So it looks relatively decent on the channel. What I'm going to be doing today is found another map, and I'm going to import, export, mess around, fart around, screw around with it. Um, so for starters. Uh, let's go to the workshop. So this workshop deal is called, uh, where did it go to? Warhammer map, Warhammer 40k map. I'll load this one up, show you all the errors that it gets, all the screw-ups, miss, mishaps, miss weird things. Cancel some of that. Look at all the red stuff that pops up right away. I mean, immediately, there's like a gazillion things wrong with this. But it's overall not a bad map. I mean, I can see some serious military expertise, some prowess some you know some maybe some cool stuff what a great map to game on a big wall to overcome you know an obstacle you got sandbags back here for covers there's a lot of neat things in this map too that you could use because this is a model this whole thing here plus these bridges and whatnot burning tanks but these little white what do you call them tank trap things are no good so in order to get this thing into um, one world and get it out of like look at this table man it's gigantic this map was obviously designed for another game but you can see the table underneath let's delete some of this because we don't need it just take a peek at this there's just some kind of dice that are going on there and then you can see start to see the outline of the table oh we'll just smash a few unlocks and deletes and there's the table and it kind of gives you the gist that, okay, this is a rectangular table. I'm imagining that if everything got pushed off to the right a little bit over in this general area here, that we could maybe shrink these walls down a little bit and get them to fit. So what I want to do is I want to go to my games and I want to go to my workshop. I'm going to go over a couple of pages here and I'm going to find one world. There it is right there. Click on this and we hit expand. And we want one world hub and these two bases. Click on those. You see they've appeared in the middle of the map. You simply take one world and set it off to the side. I'm going to put it right here somewhere. And you click this button. Uh, we got to rename the bag when it appears. So we're just going to call this uh, MHS. And we're going to hit it again. And another bag is going to appear. And we are going to rename it. MHS and then third time's a charm this thing here says update so we're going to update the code and it looks like we're ready to go so we've initialized one world and now we're going to lock this in place spread this thing out and we're going to hit new brings up this little tile here you can name this basically anything you want. I think this is the top level of whatchamacallit. So let's call this the Joker. You're going to grab that. You're going to drop it on top and it should disappear. Now it's going to create a little link. That's what that is. And essentially what I've done is you can see the corner of this picture here, like this gigantic... Um, this line here is now the same as this line here. 
you won't be able to see it all because this guy's got uh, well, let's see if I go options and grid show lines let's turn the grid off we don't need to see any of that stuff but essentially this image is now the base so when I hit the pack it's gonna take everything that it can off of this table and pack it into a bag now you notice it didn't grab the back ones back there that's because they were off the table or out of the parameters of one world so when I go to switch over to the Joker that's this table and I hit the build button it should build everything that was on that you'll see all the errors start coming back up but this is essentially gonna make it look the same as it was two seconds ago right that's the stuff that it could grab so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the export button and bag it all up and then the only two things left that I think that we're really gonna want is gonna be this piece and this piece here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna save these I'll rename them something different left piece right piece and I'll save them and then right click and I will save this bag Joker I've already done this all of this stuff I don't know why that happened there so then what I want to do is I want to go over to a table without all of the crap on it which is basically my like little simple work table you'll notice when it pops up there's really not much to my table I have the uh, one world bags we're gonna smash the start button lock the table down and then I'm gonna to go to my objects and my saved objects and find that bag I called this one janker it's out in the middle of the table and my one world is initiated and I just take this bag and drop it on top of one world it's gonna import the art do everything that I need it to do and produce this link this is my blue sword game stuff that I like to work on most cases I'm just gonna drop this link anywhere because I have no intention of saving this to my work desk double click and we'll hit the build button so we're gonna get some errors which is fine all this is telling me is that there's certain models and stuff like that that aren't available delete this tray and then uh, let's start deleting some of this stuff around here now somewhere around here there we go is 12 inch ruler that's what these things are they're actually not a bad looking model if you want to lay some stuff down or right? you can just unlock it grab it by the 12 inch ruler piece right you want to measure some stuff you want to measure the distance between two pieces or something like that you call that 12 inches don't tell my wife delete 12 inch ruler delete delete all right so so far we've gotten rid of that stuff delete delete I don't want any of that on the screen um, now what I got to do is these little pearls they're like little pearl looking things here these little things here they're called tank traps there's this is the the error that we were getting for some reason this is not loading the model or it's not loading the image one of the two so looking at the overall map I'm thinking we don't need them for anything so I'm just gonna hit L and delete really fast L for unlock delete to get rid of it L delete as long as it says tank trap we shouldn't have any problems we're gonna have a problem with this one because it's hidden in something construction barricade construction barricade tank trap tank trap construction barricade okay so take a look at the map from the other side and we've got this one here that we need to get rid of and can I access this one from a different direction no okay so it looks like we need to unlock this somehow I need to get in close enough there that I can grab that I don't know what this one is it's not labeled anything if I can't zoom out put it somewhere else we'll drop it oh yeah see now doesn't have any substance so it's going through the table you'll hear it it's just gonna keep swooping through the table so what you want to do is find it where it starts you see the hand when this happens the little hand as soon as you see the hand grab I missed it missed it again I suck there I got it now that I've, I've all I did was left mouse click to grab onto it when the hand popped up so we're going to delete that one and it's gone now let's move the, uh, I'm going to leave this grass unlocked for now because everything is going to get moved here in a second 
Uh, down here, we got a couple of these black pieces. And this 12-inch ruler can go. And everything looks good. Okay, so we got another piece up here. There's another little tank trap. L delete. Gone and gone. Okay, so everything else looks good. Now what I want to do is I want to get this map stretched out over the the distance of this table and I want to sort of move everything in a direction. So how we do that is we go up here to this gizmo and we are going to go to volume scale. I'm going to click on this base mat because this is actually not an image. Somebody's imported this thing as a token so I know that I can actually manipulate the size of it. I can come in here and I can grab onto this little blue dot and I can drag this down right to the edge of the table and all I'm really doing is just changing the the scale of, of the item. Let's just say that we want it right to there. Kind of covers the bottom. Right, looks good down the side and we want to make it just a little bit wider. So once we light that dot up, we're going to drag everything over this way. Boom, boom. F1 takes me out. And now I've completely stretched that map out over the table and I'm not really concerned whether or not there's an image here. I could put in a blank image um, later on and edit this, but the way that this guy's got it set up, this piece is actually a token. So then all there really is left to do is start just grabbing stuff and then just shifting them down. So in order to do that, we can just go back into the F8. Uh, F8 is going to open up this little gizmo down here. And then if you hit the first, yeah, maybe you got to hit it twice. Let's see. No, it's just F8. You just want the first one. So we're going to click on this. And then we're just going to drag this down. We're going to place this near the end. It's just as simple as moving stuff out of the way. So what is this piece? So I've grabbed the table that I don't want. I don't know if where this piece is going to be hidden. There's some fires and stuff in there. Um, sometimes it's just easier to unlock things. Let's get in here, see if I can't grab onto this. This is some kind of weird, what is that thing? Some kind of weird chandelier? Oh no, it's a flower. Right, there's another piece that I got there that's up against the lake. Let's drag this back. Over here, shimmy it right up into here. Make sure that it doesn't stick off the mat. And it's just literally just clicking on stuff, moving things out of the way. So where does this piece go? Drag it there. Oh, I grabbed the tree. It might need to come up a little bit so that we can see it. I don't know. I'll look at it in a second. This rock back over here. That. This piece is just rotated differently. That's why it's it's kind of off. So I'm just gonna slowly try and get everything into this map. I don't want any of those little pieces sticking out. Let's just click, 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 move stuff around. Okay. Now you see I got all these floaty things going on up here. I could just continually do the same thing. F8. Just try and shift them until I get them onto the map. Where they where they used to go. Because the elevation is already set to the same. Or I could just hit F1. Unlock it, grab it, and then just drop it where I want it to go. Lock it back in place. Sometimes that's the easier thing to do. Right, so we'll put this sandbag here. Grab this sandbag. Let's unlock this little flower thing and set it over here on an angle. Lock it in place. Another one that will drop right there. Lock it. You want to lock everything so that uh, it's not movable. When you're playing this game online with your amigos, your compadres, Friends have a tendency to do things like try and flip the table on you and stuff, and that's no good. Is this? This is like a pile of junk. And then right here, we got a little fire. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock the pile of junk. Going to set this pile of 
flaming debris on top of it. Probably not a good idea, because the fire might shoot out at a weird angle. Drop it on a flat item. Move it over top. Like so. Hit L, which will lock it like up in the air. And then we're just going to hit F8, and we're just going to drag it straight down. Once we drag it down, we'll put it right in the fire, and then nobody will see it. It'll just look like a pile of debris. Kind of what's going on with the rest of this stuff up here. So we're going to unlock this. I don't know... I'm going to delete that one because I'm not quite sure what the point of it is. Is this supposed to be some kind of a walkway that was on fire or something like that? Oh, boo. Now I want to see what this piece is. What is this thing? Come on, I can't unlock it. <sighs> you, oh, there it is. Something reactor. So I need to, now I, learning curve, right? Here we go. I should have saved my work a little bit. But we've got this weird looking reactor thing that's being a pain in the arse. Cool. Fantastic. All right. So, I done goofed. <laughs> I'm not going to go back and do all of the stuff because you get the gist of it. We'll just end the video here and I'll do it on my free time. What I should have done is, is I should have gone over here after moving some things around when I wasn't sure because I knew I shouldn't have been able to grab that. It was, it was just being weird. I should have packed everything up and then built it again and it would have saved it, right? Like if I hit, if I hit pack now, it packs everything. And then watch, when I go back to um, to Jonker or Janker and I hit build, that one item will have disappeared. Oh, get out of here. And what I can do, once this thing, you notice there's not a lot of errors that are popping up either, and everything is still where I moved it. The only thing is, is I'm missing that one piece. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go and hit export. And I'm going to go to my games menu. No, I'm going to go to my objects and I'm going to hit saved objects. And I'm going to, wait a second, I'm not doing this right. I'm going to hit right click and I'm going to hit save objects. Save object. I'm going to overwrite this bag. Now, when I go back to my workshop, in order to get that piece back, what I got to do is I got to do this. I've saved the bag so that the bag is edited the way that it is. But what I want is this Warhammer 40k deal. Let's load up this thing. Wait for it. 377 items, man. That's massive. It's so much stuff. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah. Look at her go. Uh, let's unlock the table, because this is the piece that I lost. Cool. I'm just going to set it right on top. I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to call it 123. I'm going to hit Save Object. Then, back to the workshop table. Smash the load button. And this is how we're going to put it back in to where it is, because you cannot hit Rewind. That is another, you know, you might be wondering why I just didn't rewind and bring that piece back, but you can't do it inside of, um, um, with One World open. And the reason that you can't do it is because One World being scripted, it works outside the confines of the rewind time feature. Like if I was to go hit rewind, it, it's going to rewind it to a point where this is not activated. Now I gotta go through all the steps again. So I wanna go to my objects, my saved objects. We are going to crack out uh, Janker. To grab Janker and I'm going to hit clear this table. Grab Janker, drop it back on here. It's gonna load everything back in. This is the saved Janker version. Drops my link, my link anywhere because the link is irrelevant. This takes me to my table. Hit the build button. 
Now we're down to 70 objects instead of 377. This will run so much more smoothly. Now I called that item 123 and there it is. So what I want to do is I want to grab onto this thing and I want to get it hovering above the table. Then I want to lock it in place. And then I think the easiest way to do it is to... I think I want to go F8 and I want to hit move. And then I just want to change the position to 0, 0, and 0. And that'll center it on the table. Now, I got to look at it because I think I might actually want the height to be like 1. And that should be good. See, can I peek underneath it? No, the one height looks all right. Okay, so once again, here we go. Back to volume scale. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to drag this out this way. So that it covers that piece. Drag this one out. This corner, we're just making this thing have a little bit more volume. Even actually drag it over the curbs, like over the corner of the table if you want. I think I just kind of stretched out one side of it last. Make sure I get on this blue dot, push it in so I can see the edge. It should be something like that. F1, and there we go. Right back to where I need to be. Now, don't like the looks of this one. It needs to be... Volume scale, it needs to be just a touch bigger. So we're just going to do that. F1. Right click, change the name from 123. <laughs> Back to nothing. Or you'll see it every time. Okay, so this freaking thing here. The trick is to grab it by its name if you can find it. Like if it has a, you know, because you can't grab this for whatever reason, you can't, you can't grab the model up here. I'm going to grab this back here and I want to set this something like that. Not sure what the, what the point of this thing is. No, oh, you know what I got to do? I just got to drop it. Find out where it's at. I'm going to leave the name on this piece because it's the only real way that you can grab onto things. There we go. Now I know I got it. Slide it back here. This piece. It's going to be a great battle map when it's done. Took the time to, you know, do a, a nice number on this deal. Let's lift this up. In fact, I want to lift that up right out of the table, and then I'm just going to hit L. Position it. Why is it sitting wonky? Rotate it. I guess either way it doesn't make a difference. This table or this deal over here is kind of messing it up. If I shrink it, can I shrink it? That's as small as it goes. Okay, so well, what we're going to do then is we're going to set it or put it where we want it to be, which is roughly right about there, and I'm going to lock it in place. F8, click on it, and we're just going to drag it down onto its shadow. Like so. There. This piece here needs to move. It is doing a thing with it. F8. It's out of the way a little bit so it's not impeding on that peg. Try, try and make these things look a little less weird. Scooch this over like so. That looking. This way a little bit. Go. No. Oh, I unlocked the wrong piece. Fantastic. Amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm not winning with this today. All right, sandbags. You need to move. You need to move. This rock. The. 
something like that. Lock it in place, F8, and then I'm just going to drag it down until it sits sort of level with where it needs to go. Oddly enough, it is over the fire, so that's no good. Let's move it this way. Why is that fire even there? Oh, I know why. This table. If I go to uh, volume scale on this table, take the volume and shrink it down a little bit. There we go. It's not such a gigantic deal. And immediately everything looks like it's sitting where it's supposed to be sitting. Okay, that's cool. So when you unlock things like these trees, they should just fall. Oh, come on! You're freaking killing me! Oh my god, I hate you so much, table. Lock. F8. Position is going to be 0, 1, 0. Rotation should be 0. Zero. Nope. So that's got to be 90. There. And then zero. And then that should level everything off and the scale and size can be the same. Damn! Not having any luck with this piece of crap. Okay. Um, my rocks are now sort of sitting over here. Let's move this out of the way and set this down. Really got to be careful with the stuff that you grab. And just trying to see if this will sit properly. It's not going to sit right. Fire. Trial and error, man. Trial and error. Let's get these. Uh, hopefully. Don't unlock. You know what I should do? So I should just take this. But I got the thing where I want it to be. I'm going to hit the uh, right live and learn. So we're going to pack this map. So that I at least I can start from this point. Build it. Now if anything goes south, I have like a reload point. Finish building. Okay, so this now can come off to the side. Let's move this out of the way. Sort of sit flush like they're supposed to. So you can get locked there. You can sit over top like so. Let's lock you in place. What is that? Oh, that's just a sandbag. Sandbag is going for a ride. Go, I should have looked at this from the back of the table. Put that there. Let's lock it. Hit F8, and we're going to shrink it down into the table so that these other models appear over top of it. It should get pushed out of the way. And then when you're all said and done, you just, it's just a matter of whether you like the way that it looks. Right? So that's not too shabby. I do have to remember that I need to put my sandbags back on top of this. So let's put one sandbag locked right there. Shrink it down onto the table where it looks like it's supposed to go. Just for a nice barricade. Another one over here that I'm going to drop right up here. one something like that lock it in place now if you got stuff that sticks up like that just click on it and shrink it down um, I guess maybe we can't because it really is just kind of for looks and if you're not sure let's do this let's hit um, unlock it hit control C lock it F8 shrink it down into the map like this and then we're going to hit control V. We're going to spawn another one right on top of it. In silly. Lock you there. F8. 
Let's have two. Right? Now you can't really tell that it's two when you're looking at it. Still just looks like one, but at least we have some depth underneath this one corner. Very cool. Do I have sandbags elsewhere on this deal? Let's move you over here just to give you a bags. All right, so back into the moving things around phase. Let's pull this back. No! Okay, well. Let's see. I keep unlocking the table instead of the machine, the piece that I want. So if that's the case, position zero, position zero, position zero. We want this to be one and then set the rotation from there to 90. Z should be zero. It should go right back to where you want it to be. It's handy to learn that move feature. We do have trees that are too high. And just by clicking on the tree and hitting L on this little bush, Oh, God. This is why I don't like working with a base for a model. Where did it go? <laughs> I can see it floating in space. Here it slowly comes. <laughs> Stupid thing. On the table where I can see you. Lock. So back to moving position zero. Y is one, that is zero. Shift tab, no. This should be, I spent more time screwing around with this stupid thing. Zero, zero, zero. So the best thing to do instead of using a model is just use an image because you can't like unlock the image. Whereas these trees, you know what I mean? Like you, just, you can see what happens when you don't click on it. Sometimes it doesn't know what you're trying to get at. It would almost be best if I took this thing off. Can't do that either. Can't disappear. So that looks good. That stuff can stay. This little floating bush. Watch everything go for a, a ride. Oh, freaking annoying. <sighs> Rotation zero, 90, zero. Right back to where she needs to be. F8. Let's move this piece forward. Let's move this piece forward. This has got to come forward a little bit. Can I get the tank? See if I can get the little fire piece down here. Oh. Sure. Oops. Right. Blazing tanks. Blazing tanks of doom. So I want to shift this stuff forward. So that it's on the table. Like that piece. I got the right piece. There. Pipe. Call where these pipes were. Awesome. Nothing else wants to move. Yeah, I did it. So the void shield, is this this entire piece? Looks like it. 
move it. Oh, I'm just so hoping that I don't unlock this stupid whatchamacallit again. There we go. What are you doing? Lock. It's probably hitting a tree. This map has a lot of stuff on it. But all things said and done, it still doesn't really take that much time to get things to move where you want them to do. Okay, so. Those are all kind of pushed ahead. So I want to go to Objects. Saved Objects and find the two pieces that I saved. Where are they? Left piece. Very cool. This piece goes over here. Something like that. Oops. Get in place. Eight. Something is up with this. F1 lock and let's rotate it a little bit. Maybe that's what it needs. Lock F8. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to try and move this thing into where it needs to be. So it should be right around there somewhere. Shrink it down onto the table. Like that. Click on the void shield and move it a little bit more. Hey, why didn't you move void shield? Go. Right. thing so the rotation value on this should probably be zero this should probably be zero and the z rotation should probably be zero there we go they didn't have it sitting flat things kind of got a little wonky there all right so f8 Something like that. Go. So with this reactor, I'm just going to release it. Lock it in place. I'm not even sure what the point of that is. Lock it. I don't know if it's just for looks. What the deal is with it. Find the name. There we go. Let's get rid of it. There. Games. Oh, so I don't want games. We want objects. Saved objects. One was left piece. The other one was called right piece. It is. Let's go find the right piece. While we're here... Let's unlock this thing. Delete it. Okay, so we are going to put you somewhere right around there. So I'm going to lock this piece, hit F8, and then I'm going to zero out the rotation so that the thing needs to be rotated. So if we need to rotate it, we'll go to the rotate piece. Click on this, and we'll turn this piece like so. Good enough. F8, click. Drop you down onto the screen. It's going to push you into place. One point eight nine. Now, if I go look at the other one, the other one actually sits down top some reason uh, just a little scooch that look All right, so 
um, everything is locked in place. Overall, the map generally looks fairly decent. Move a few of these things, just leave them there as barricades. Let's crack out the sandbags. Some of these up here. Uh, this fire obviously does not go there. I'm not 100% sure where it would go. So should we put it over here? Let's lock it in place. Hit the F8 button and drag it into so that it's hidden inside these sandbags. <clears throat> um, this is going to kill me. <laughs> I need to drop down some of this stuff. The sandbags are usually or can be relatively easy to do. The... Sandbags, so let's move you here. Let's rotate you a little bit like so. If I go F8 and I can click on this, but I can also do volume scale, which works really well. If I click on this, I can stretch this out like that, and then it looks more like it should. F8 again, which is the first F8. I can shrink this down so that it sits down in the ground somewhere. Sandbag, sandbags in the tree. This map, because I got the pieces on it now. Pack. Cool. <clears throat> oh, let's build it. No, generally, I'm going to say it should be good. Well, I know, I knew it. <laughs> the first thing I frickin' touch. Clear. Build. I have reduced this from 370 some odd items down to this. I don't like having stuff floating. I find it's it's off-putting. My OCD will kick in like this little lantern. But if I go to grab the lantern, it's locked. That's relatively easy to do. Oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> I hate this so much. Clear. Build. Go clear, clear. I got some things off the table. And just want to highlight these things and delete them so that we don't get duplicate deals. And then we'll just go back and load the table. Lock. Click on you. Take me to the Jonka. Try packing the zone. Maybe I can get rid of that gooey error that was on there. There, I just renamed it as a different a different deal. I think I'm going to leave this the way that it is. Some weird floating clouds and stuff. Could always just F8 this thing and see if I can't grab it. There. Which is also this, right? So I have yet to grab the, the proper piece. There it is. Push this down into the... Let's go in this route. See any trees sticking up way above the ground? I'm just going to click on them. And then drag them until they sort of just start to disappear.
an easy an easy fix all right well that said you got yourself a map drop your players on here storm the fortress man it's the uh, airstrike came in blew some of their defenses down took out their major turrets or something like that maybe they find some secret plans or something like that in a previous um, map or whatever that gives them the coordinates to this location this would have been the impenetrable fortress uh, something along those lines you know if you're doing like some kind of military campaign or whatnot and then the idea is that they uh, they storm the fortress and then beyond here you could build a um, do like a dungeon crawl or something like that once they get through here but you could still line the top of this thing maybe put up some turrets or something like that you can find different things inside of uh, tabletop simulator rarely or you know fairly easily i'm pretty sure if i went to my saved objects and i just type in turret t-u-r-r -R. okay so i don't have any um got an axe with a stump though cool here's a cannon there we go Check that action out. Where did I put my cannon? It's my cannon. Ship locked. Let's increase the size of the cannon. Drop them up here. All right, you're not really cooperating with me today. <laughs> Lock F8. Shrink her down so that it sits flush with the surface. You get the gist of it. So you got to take out the cannons. You got to make your way through the field. The cannons are firing at you. And then get past the, uh, through the fortress wall here to the other side. Drop in some uh, little military figures that are hiding here to keep them at bay. But uh, they've got lots of places for cover, which is cool. Pop in behind the sandbags, pop in behind the, uh, this bridge. Yeah, lots of neat stuff going on here. We better lock those sandbags down. I'll leave that one cannon up there because it's just a matter of unlocking it and moving it around. Perhaps they take out this uh, this void reactor. This void shield. Maybe that's what they're going after. Maybe you could put that... Oh man, if I scooched it forward a little more and dropped the void shield in behind here, that might be a deal. Oh, look at this. F8. This has to go... This has to go right in there, something like that, so I can see what I'm doing. Up a little bit. Sweet. What a fancy, fancy, slick, great map. All right, so we're going to hit the pack button. Packed, we did. Act we did. Um, should do one other thing. Got to rename this one. So if we, without building the map, if we just go to to have it like sort of up and available, we can hit the edit. There is no artwork on this map. Um, I think I have. Yeah, I will add something to it so it's not so kind of gross looking here. Go to my Imgur websites, I'll go to my albums, and then somewhere in one of my albums, I have like a generic kind of um, placemat. That. Let's see if I can't find it in here. Backgrounds. Worlds. Icy Bridge. Forge Minis. The Tomb. Where are you? Are you in here? what I'll do so if I go right click copy image address and then under this token here what you want to do is go custom and then where it says images I'm just going to paste this image over top hit import it's just a generic kind of battle map similar color kind of a thing and I also want to change the name of this to all right uh, let's call it Command HQ. Cool. Now that that's done, we'll hit exit. It's packed everything. And hopefully, see the map that it's loading up. 
which is just like I, you know, I just replaced that gross gray image that was there, and I hit build, and it'll bring all the other tokens and stuff like that in. Recalling the zone objects. Let's go. There it is. Now it's called Command Headquarters. Cool. Menu. Pack. So what did that take me? But an hour? Now I got a sweet battle map that I can use for numerous, uh, whatchamacallits, numerous different adventures. Uh, if I click here on menu, sorry, I should have done, I should do this too. Pop this out. I want to hit build. And then I want to export this and then I want to save this. Actually, I got to do a bunch of things so that I can post this where it needs to be. Menu. Before I do anything, let's see if I can't get an image of this. Go. Alt. Prints. Whoa, my bad. Print screen. Go over here. We'll smash the export button. We're going to right click on command headquarters and we are going to hit save object. That's it. I'll throw this up in the window uh, for my other, whatchamacallit, and drop it onto an image of itself. Uh, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's go to uh, games. Workshop. Nope. Games. Save and load. I have this table. Where's my table? Right here, load. So this is a table of tables is essentially what this is. We'll smash this button, smash this button. Last and go to build. And then a table of tables. So these are ones that I've created, ones that I've edited, ones that I've moved things around on. Some people have built these things. Uh, I've torn them out of... Um, you know, various places and stuff like that and kind of consolidated them into one area. But you, the nice part is, is I, I've captured an image of it and then here's the bag. Right click, save the bag, figure out how to work one world. There's plenty of videos for it. And then you can sort of get the gist as to what these things do. Now, where's one that I've created? So I've created this one, the tomb, uh, the tribal camp. There's a bunch in here. Here's the canyon. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones by Blue Sword Games, the uh, the Beast Land, and then all the maps are basically right there. You just save Beast Land, drop it onto your One World, and away you go. This is my other favorite ones, the Rift. This is a two-parter, so you have your players come in over here. Uh, I think I got videos for it, but anyways, you get the gist of it. I'll drop that onto this map. This table is available from the workshop. If you just look up the Murder Hobo Show on Steam. Or go in there, you'll find it somehow. If not, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. All right, that's it. Sweet. Peace out.